Hello everybody, this is Damien Plays Memoir 44, and this is Mission 13, Saint Vit. So, let's go through the rules as always, and then get straight into the battle. So, I am switching back to the Allied player, I've done the Axis, and I'm switching to the Allies again, as I do. Two missions Allies, two missions Axis. So, uh, yeah, let's go into Saint Vit. So, let's go through the rules. The Axis player takes five command cards and goes first. The other player takes four command cards, so I'll only have four command cards. Conditions of victory, very simple battle again, six medals. That's fine, no problem, just destroy six of their, for their forces. Uh, the Ax Axis um, have special forces tanks that give them four figures. So, this will be a little bit tough. Um, because he has extra models here for his tanks. Uh, plus he has artillery. I don't think I have any artillery. So the only bonus I have is I, I am on a hill. Which, which actually doesn't look like I'm on many hills. So yeah, this is going to be a tough battle. Uh, the hill slope towards St. Fifth is impossible. So on my side of the, of the map, I can't get up this hill. Which it's going to be... Um, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to go around get over but uh i assume i have to hold same fit though in saying that there's no special kind of uh, rewards for metal so i don't really have to leave these forces here but uh yeah we'll get into that when we get into the game so yeah i'm fighting german tigers uh on this map the allies win 45 percent of the time and get an average of 4.5 metals so yeah they win the other 55 percent uh yeah yeah you johnny could uh yeah anyway um, so, yeah, Johnny Cadet is, <laughs> I know his name is is Johnny and he's a cadet, but I just call him Johnny Cadet because it gives him some type of nemesis feeling, so, um, which I am the villain of, apparently. So, let's get into the historical context of this battle, as always, and then we'll go into the game. So, historical context. As early as August 1944, Adolf Hitler began formulating plans for what would become the Ardennes Offensive. While too ambitious for the available resources and terrain, the plan was deemed by the German High Command as having more chances of impacting the situation than throwing the same ad hoc divisions into the increasingly desperate Eastern Front. In the Ardennes, there were only a few cross-country roads, so forces would tend to pile up at crossroads. St. Vit was one such town. The German tide rushed past to the north and south of St. Vit during the first days of the offensive, leaving the town to two Volksgrenadier divisions. Supported by artillery and a few tigers. In the defence, a hodgepodge a hodgepodge force, including infantry and armour, dug in on a rugged ridge known as the Prumerberg. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Prumerberg, just east of just east of Saint Vith. A heavy artillery barrage began the German attack. The infantry followed, advancing through gaps in the American line. The push was joined by dirt. Uh, tiger tanks rolling up the front slopes of the Prumerberg. The American armor lay in wait on the ridge, but the Tigers, using an, an eastern front tactic of firing flares as they reached the crest, blinded the American tank crews and silhouetted the Sherman tanks. The American line broke under heavy pressure and fell back before additional forces could be deployed from the town. The stage is set, the battle lines are drawn, and you are in command. The rest is history. Right, so he gets to move first. So he's playing direct from HQ. So, yeah, he's going to move his forces out fairly, yeah, fairly straight away. Get them tanks up. Uh, they're going to be a bit of a problem, seeing as they're bloody four. Yes, I want to ignore the first flag. I know there I have air power, and I'm an ally. Yeah, ignore the first light. So air power means I can target a group of four fewer enemy units adjacent to each other, and I get so I get two dice per per hex. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. That's cool. I like the little sound effect of the planes. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm going to hit these four. 
Okay, done. So, one retreat. One kill and one retreat. So that's not too bad. Just brings it down to a kind of a normal tank division though. One kill, one retreat. Again, not too bad. Not too shabby. Again, just brings it down to a normal. And one retreat. So a lot of retreats. Um, could have been a little bit better, but I suppose I'm only getting two. Oh god. I'm only getting two dice to attack some. He played an armor assault. So... They get plus one die in close combat. Uh, yeah, ignore the first flag. It tanks. My beautiful tanks. Yeah, ignore. Yeah. Do I just get to ignore all flags? What the hell? Okay. So, issue... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do. See, recon of force means I get to shoot from each. or get to order from each section. But I was wondering, should I attack the left flank and use the two tanks that are there? No, you know what? I'm gonna do recon of force. I'm gonna select you. I'm gonna select you. I'm gonna select. Yeah. You. Okay. Done. Move. Don't want to move. Okay, battle. Damn it. Okay, I should have selected them to attack them. Uh, yeah, actually, I want you out of my garden. Yeah, sure, why not? Maybe that was a mistake because it took them out of the defense. Oh, come on. Bloody hell. Okay, two tanks were hit, so it's down to one tank left. Um, okay. Just let me check that we're all good for sound. We're all good, yeah. So, just checking there, sorry. Don't usually do it for memoir, but just making sure. So he's pulling his tanks back. Oh uh, god, that could have been a mistake bringing that tank through. Yeah, it was, yeah. Okay. I paid for that mistake, though. So I'm gonna. I might do an infantry or move out. Try and hurt these tanks here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna select this guy, I'm gonna select this guy, this guy, and this guy. Okay. So I'm gonna move. I can't remember if yeah, I think if you move onto a hill. Just let me is this uh rules. No, I'm not looking for that. I was looking for I thought there was a little thing where you could check about terrain. Maybe I'm mistaken. John, I'm gonna take the risk and put them in there. Okay. They're gonna stay there, they're gonna stay there, and they're gonna stay there. Okay. Oh, they can battle. Excellent. Okay, that's what I was looking up. So, yeah, kill two infantry. That's fine with me. It's 1 0 so far. So he has one medal so far. Yeah, attack these guys. If this was an infantry game, it would have been doing absolutely fantastic. Okay. So I killed one there, tank crews. No, I don't want to take ground. And yeah, I take a pot shot. Okay. Kill the guy. Excellent. Okay. His turn. Medics and mechanics, so I get the issue. Yeah, I get to fix or I get to repair a tank unit or I get to repair or heal an infantry unit. Jeez, he's really gone for the uh, tanks. I mean, I would too if I had the bloody cards, but. God damn. I might have to play their finest hour and get some tanks into this. 
Oh, three retreats, and they can't retreat, so it just take three damage. Okay, so it's 2 1. I think I might play the finest arrow actually. Oh, what should I do? Should I assault or attack? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna. I have to think about this. What am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna attack the left flank. Move them into there. Okay, that's all the movements. Battle. Crap, they can't battle. Take a risk. Okay. It's down to one tank left. Okay. Okay, I got a card for the center, so I might be able to attack this guy. But if I can, I can try and wipe out this. Oh, yeah, it's on the right flank. His right flank, sorry. Oh, God. I was thinking, I was like, what, these three guys? Alright. Okay, he's really gone for the right. Oh, sorry, my left. Two infantry dead. Two tanks dead. God, my left flank just fell apart. And I'd say, yep, yeah, that's a death. So it's 3 1. I wonder should I leave them to be the sacrificial lamb and just focus on their right flank, try and get rid of these three infantry squads. Hmm. Joe, you know I'm gonna recon the center. I'm gonna pick these guys. The only reason I'm recon is because I want that bloody the two cards. So. Whatever I get out of this, alright, one tank. Alright, so I get to choose between two cards. Um, right flank. See what would help me more in this situation. Probably the right flank card. Try and get my tanks up. I do like special cards, but... Alright, I'm gonna go with the right flank card. What are you doing? General advance, so two units in each section. Crap, this could be him. This could be the nail in the coffin. One kill, one retreat. Um, do you want to ignore the first flag? Yeah, the, I think the reason I can't go on these, so I think you just die. It just dies anyway, but I think I don't think I could have retreated anyway. Even if I press. To ignore the flag, to not ignore the flag, I probably would have died anyway, so. Okay, yeah. I was right, here's the nail in the coffin. 5-1. Joe you know <laughs> Literally, it is going to be my finest error, so let's do it. Well, it's probably my darkest error, not my finest error, but. Two tanks. Two tanks. Okay. Uh, screw. I'm moving into this. Yeah, move you up here. Okay. I'm just. I know I'm dead. So try and take out this guy. Nope. And 
great, wonderful. Ah, uh, sure. Might as well continue this. That was great. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna move out. Ah, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm dead anyway, so. Back there, don't make it easy on him. Wow, still alive. That's fantastic. Um, so yeah, probably on the right. Okay, what are these two? Uh, ooh. Don't want to move. Ah, screw it. Yeah, I do want to move. Get them out there. Battle. That's not what I wanted. At all. Sure, take ground. Okay. I'm literally just trying to regain some dignity at this point. 5-1. <laughs> it's going to be 6-1, actually. Uh, I'd say... Okay, so two guys will die because I can't retreat. And that's it. 6 1. That's the end of St. Fifth. Um, yeah, that was pretty crap. Um, the actual map is. Uh, it's pretty much like a pitch battle. There's nothing really to it. Uh, that impossible thing is a pain in the ass. Maybe, yeah, I know if, if it was on the other way, maybe I would like it because it's, it, like I said, it, it's on my side, so I'm probably just giving out about that, but it's it's not needed, I don't think. I mean, the battle's hard enough, or memoir's hard enough, you know, without any of that uh, stuff, so I don't know. That's just my kind of take on it. Uh, so, yeah, 14 turns, 13 minutes, but a minute a turn. Um, yeah, 6-1. Um, could I have made better decisions? Uh, probably I could have used uh, their fighting steroid maybe a little bit earlier. Um, try and slow down, but in fairness, he got armor overrun, or the armor, yeah, armor overrun, I think the card is. He got the, for some reason, he always, 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 always gets directs from HQ at the very start of the game. Always gets it. Move four units of any units, or order four of any units. Always gets it. I think in the last, I, I to be honest, I'll go back and watch my other videos. But I, I, I believe he's gotten it every time, uh, or almost every time. I could be wrong, but um, that really kind of starts things going. But um, yeah. Anyway, it was a, it was a pretty fun game. It, there was, it was a lot more exciting at the start than it was at the end. At the end it was literally just me getting killed. But uh, I thought maybe yeah we could actually do something here, but. It kind of turned around. But uh, yeah, that's the end of St. Fifth. Uh, the next mission is mission 14. It's a Severn Gap. So I hope you enjoyed watching me play that one. And I will see you in mission 14. And as always, thanks for watching.